I'm so glad to be all here with all of you and on behalf of the Hayward Peace and Reconciliation Foundation of This event is called Beyond Hiroshima and Nagasaki, a peace gathering towards a world of global harmony. Indeed, for the past 30 years, the ceremony has been held with a focus on remembering the victims of Hiroshima and Nagasaki. But from this year, we have changed the shape of the programs to also think of the atomic bombings within the broader framework of creating a more peaceful future. We will focus on creating bridges between the past, the present, and the future by increasing cultural elements for children and young people in response to ongoing wars around the world. And we'd like to raise the voices of peace and firmly convey the importance of peace from New York City, the place say one simple thing. You know, one Japanese phrase is called Itai Doshi, many body in one is here. And though there may be a few of us here, you may think, what's our problem? But I was thinking about it from the thing that we did last night in the wonderful Japanese society. I was thinking, you know, each one of the phrases in Lotus, which is like, we are like a flower, and whoever we meet, we give off this fragrance to. And so we make this one the number of what kind of fragrance are we going to be giving to other body else? Way we come together to agree the fragrance of peace, the fragrance of love, and the fragrance of compassion. So I'm very thankful to have with us the Dr. Matthew, who has his great leaders from the and uh, I'm also in the program. And the program has, as the next thing, will be a welcome from St. Mark's Church with Liz Jacobson.
We worship on Sundays at 11, but this church is open seven days a week. Even if you see the doors closed, the back door is open. So come on in and join us and, and know that we stand with you in your quest for peace as we have the same quest for peace. Thank you. Uh, the 
now on the Lebanon first of all. So I would like to begin with a prayer. Uh, so each one can include any prayer and then they do the uh, parts of reading. So what I'd like to do is first of all, I will dedicate the part of the peace bell that I just read. But uh, I uh, next to the frame. So the on the peace bell it said peace is most valuable and uh, nonviolence is essential. And uh, so so that I just wanted to dedicate so for the three treasures to the Dharma Sangha uh, to be with my so please come together.
Those who dwell on such thoughts will never be free from hatred. He was angry with me. He attacked me. He defeated me. He robbed me. Those who do not dwell on such thoughts will surely become free from hatred. For hatred can never put an end to hatred. Love, absence of hate, alone can. This is an unalterable law. Satan Gangi Shoyo Namu Amida Namu Amida Namu Amida Namu Amida Namu Amida Namu Amida Namu Amida
is the sum of duty. Do not do to others which would cause you pain if done to you. Lead us from the unreal to the real. O God, lead us from darkness to light. O God, lead us from death to immortality. Shante, 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 unto all. O Lord God Almighty, may there be peace in celestial reasons. May the waters be pure. May herbs be wholesome.
chance we have a prayer for the native peoples. Is anyone from the native traditions? Anybody here feel comfortable with that? It's okay. Well, with the name of this. Also, the 
the people living across the coast of Salamibas. I believe uh, all our brothers and sisters lie under constant troubles in this moment. Why do the winds and the waves and ice in the oceans lie in us? I only honestly wish that the wind would soon pull away all the clouds which are amid the tops of the mountains. I don't know much. so much. Thank you. And next we have uh, an explanation of kids of the Gurna Sea by Mr. Miguel Guatanari. Let me just say one thing about this. Mayor of Nagasaki, Mr. Suzuki. 
and last one there is a uh, uh, is is made by the children of the base camp in Sasebo. So American military is children uh, who wanted to express the peace. And uh, another one is outside, uh, which is made by the children of Hiroshima in 1999, 25 years ago. So, uh, we would like to show the wish of the children for the peace, because we should not give the future of the children with the war. We should not uh, give them a chance to be killed or uh, to kill the others. So I hope uh, in, Europe, in New York uh, there will be a new Kitukiri Liga will be done uh, in the near future. And uh, let's uh, exhibit in Hiroshima, Nagasaki, and maybe Gerenika or whatever to express the solidarity for the peace. Thank you very much. I'm so short. <laughs> Just kind of jumped on. Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Tag Furumoro. And I am, as uh, James said, honorary chairman of Hiroshima Kai in New York. We have founded this back in 1988, a socializing group. Started with uh, Hiroshima Bank, Hiroshima Soho Bank few other people. And when I met uh, TK, Reverend Nagayaki, we started doing this Hiroshima Nagasaki uh, Peace Memorial. And this is our 31st year. And I've been reading the Peace Declaration of Mayor of Hiroshima for all these years and I'll um, do that same this afternoon. Message from Mayor of Hiroshima. It is both honor and pleasure to send this message on occasion of World Peace Interface Gathering of the year 2024. 79 years ago, a single atomic bomb instantly reduced a city to scorched plain, claiming countless precious lives. The lives of those who managed to survive are steered in pair by the adverse effect of radiation in their minds and bodies. Last May, the head of the state who attended the G7 Hiroshima Summit visited the Peace Memorial Museum 
and spoke with Dimakrishya. After touching upon the realities of the coming army through these events, they wrote messages for peace in the museum guest world. As they stood before the Tanota path for Ivan Gupta, I had opportunity to convey the spirit of Hiroshima underlying the inscription there. Enduring the past grief and overcoming hatred, we yearn for genuine world peace with humanity, living in harmony and prosperity. I believe they have taken a spirit into their heart. Yet today, the world is embroiled in a protracted war in Ukraine, an escalating conflict in the Middle East, both of which have claimed the lives of countless innocent citizens. Many policymakers speak of the need to strengthen nuclear deterrence, and public opinion tend to be sympathetic. These conditions run counter to the desire for peace that the atomic bomb cities continue to call for. Therefore, in civil society, each of us must embrace the generosity, love for humanity in body, in the Hibakusa's message. No one else should ever suffer as we have. It will be increasingly important for us to urge policy to abandon nuclear deterrence in favor of a peaceful world that refuses to compromise individual dignity and security. To that end, it will be vital to create social environment which our dreams and hope come alive in our daily lives by engaging with music, art, sports, and other activities that transcend language, nationality, creed, and gender. As such, it could not be more meaningful that you have organized this event, transcending differences in religion, to share wish for a peaceful world free from nuclear weapons with the youth who will be leading future generations by theatrical and music performance. For this, you have my deepest respect. The city of Hiroshima, together with the more than 8,400 member cities of mayors for peace, intend to promote the culture of peace globally through citizen-level exchange. Our goal is an environment which our united desire for peace can reach the hearts of policymakers, helping build an international community that maintains peace without resorting to arms. I would like to ask you to act in solidarity with us as we strive to eliminate nuclear weapon and realize lasting world peace. In closing, I extend my best wishes for the great success of this event as well as good health and happiness of all in attendance. August 6, 2024, Matsui Kazumi, Mayor of Hiroshima. Thank you. Next, we'll have a message from the mayor of Nagasaki, provided by Nobu Kihoto. I want to tell you a little about Mr. Kihoto. Nobu Kihoto was born in Nagasaki, the second generation of E. Makusha. He has lived in New York City for 27 years. Chairman of the New York Nagasaki, Kenjin Kai, and the New York Bad Ten Kai, vice chair of the One Young World Nagasaki Council which holds its annual form to create peace norms in Nagasaki, president of the UN IBA America Inc. as well. Mr. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, James. Hi, everyone. Uh, my name is Nobu Kiyoto. Uh, I live in New York. I'm a chairman of Nagasaki Prefectural Association of New York. And we have both 
sure we can do this this break. And since Mitch, look around, that was some wonderful pictures. Not wonderful pictures, but impactful pictures. Impactful pictures. 